Hello crafty friends, it's Jennifer Savari and today I'll be sharing how I made a fun fold card using the Bally by Birch Press Design die. I separated the inner portion from the outer portion of the die to create a window card and the inner card opens up for the message. The Bally layer set comes in three dies. You've got layer A, layer B, and layer C. Each layer cuts out an inner and an outer portion, so the colors can be mix and match, and the possibilities are just endless with the combinations that can be made. So I die cut the green to match the base out of the A and C, and out of the A, I also kept the little flower from the center. Now using the uh, Mandela circle base, I did. I am going to be using the outside frame, and I'll talk about that here in just a few minutes. But I just simply um, die cut a plain circle of silver just to give that uh, inner portion something to rest on when the card was opened for a little background. And I just started gluing the layers together. And in this case, I thought that using the same tone on tone colors of the green would be so beautiful to just really accentuate the texture that that dye provides. So I did not mix and match colors here, but you could if you wanted to. And then I just used the little uh, flower from the center and inlaid that. Putting the top layer together was just so simple. It was just a matter of gluing layer B to layer C and then layer A on top of it all. After gluing the layers together, I did let them rest under some weight to dry so they would be nice and flat. So I chose green as my card base and it's just a standard size card base. And the inner portion is just a little bit smaller and it's going to be basically a card within a card that opens the opposite direction. To figure out the placement of the window that I was going to be die cutting, I placed the frame on top of the card along with the bally and just penciled the interior of the bally so that I would know uh, where that frame would be. And the circle that I'm die cutting is just a little bit larger than the bally, and so I just centered it around my pencil mark. I taped it in place with just some um, scotch wall tape. It's a removable tape, and it works really well for projects like this. And this was just a really easy way to add the window to the card, uh, centered exactly where I wanted it to be. So next I just adhered the inner portion of the card uh, to the card base and I made sure that the fold was to the outside so that it would open up um, kind of like a trifold card in a way. And I had rounded all of the corners with a little corner rounder punch and so I wanted to also carry that through to the frame of course that was going to be on the outside. Now on the left side of my card the little uh, punch that I have would not go through both layers and so you'll see me hand cut that left side here in a few minutes to match the frame. The inside could have been left just uh, normal but I went ahead and put a little circle base uh, frame on the inside just to make sure it was extra sharp and then I just attached the bally to the outside and made sure that the, um, that the center aligned with the window. Again, I'm using some weight to dry in between the layers. And then I added one sequin to the center, and it's kind of a, a purpley sequin. And uh, that just added a perfect little touch to the purple uh, layer B that I had put in there. Now to line up the circle, I lined it up from the outside and put a little bit of tape, glued the backing, and then shut the card. And then you can see how easy it was to just remove that tape. And at first I thought I'd need to go in with some glue back behind there where the tape was, but it, it all adhered. The glue had spread out just a little bit there. So using the frame as my cutting guide, I just went in and cut both of those layers with the scissors to match the rounded corners. I didn't add a sentiment yet to this card, but a silver embossed sentiment could be added to any of the layers, the middle, the inside, or the outside. And I just love the simplicity of this card. Not that it was just simple to make, but that it is just so simple and sharp looking and uh, great for lots of different occasions. I hope you give this a try and I'll see you again soon. Thank you so much for stopping by. Have a great day.